math. In some ways, computers are just large machines for doing math. Computers are very, very good at doing math. In fact, modern computers can perform billions or even trillions of calculations per second. However, the math they do is extremely simplistic, the kind that you learned as a child. Fortunately, programs can use these simple operations together to build up more complicated operations. There are seven basic mathematical operations in Python that you should be familiar with. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, float division, integer division, exponentiation, and modulo. The plus operator is used for addition, and the minus operator is used for subtraction. The value to the left and the right of the operator are the operands. This mostly works just like the math you've always seen. One asterisk, a star, is used for multiplication. Two asterisks are used for exponents, also known as powers. The forward slash is used for float division. Two forward slashes are used for integer division. When you divide two integers with float division, you will always get a floating point number. I'll say that again. Whenever you do regular float division with a single slash, the result will always be a float. If you want to remove the decimal value, you can use two forward slashes to truncate the result. Then the result will always be equal to an integer. Keep in mind, you cannot divide by zero. You have probably never heard of the modulo operator, but programmers use it occasionally. Modulo calculates the remainder after division. Modulo is sometimes called clock arithmetic because it makes it easy to figure out the time. If someone said it is 16 p.m., you could do 16 modulo 12 and find out that they actually meant 4 p.m. However, modulo has many other uses, such as for figuring out if numbers are even or odd. Any number modulo 2 will result in 1 if the number was odd, or 0 if the number was even. When you run a program with operators, Python will do the math and then replace the result. You will not be able to see the computer do the math by looking at just the code. The result will seem to appear in the console immediately. However, the computer did not execute the code instantly, but instead had to first break down the operations into smaller steps. First, the computer will add 2 and 3. Then, the computer will add the result to 5, uh, the, add the resulting 5 to 4. The final result of 9 is what is printed to the user without any of the intermediate steps being shown. When you use operators, there is an order of operations. Whenever there is a tie, leftmost operation happens first. Notice that you can always override any ordering by using parentheses. You might already be familiar with this order. If not, here is a useful mnemonic, PEMDAS. Please excuse my most dear Aunt Sally. Each word of the mnemonic references the order of the operation. The words on the same line shown here are meant to have the same priority. You can recall that floats are decimal numbers and integers are whole numbers. When any operation involves any floats, the final result will always be a float, even if it could have been expressed as a whole number. The only exception to this rule is when you do division. Remember, interdivision will always produce a float, and float division will always produce a float.